and thanks for clicking this episode of Black Knights Weekly. I'm Heath Trabue. This our first episode of 2013, Winter Sports solidly underway. One of those cadet athletes is the subject of this week's cadet spotlight. Here's Rich DeMarco with John Bob. Thanks, Heath. Rich DeMarco here on the Cadet Spotlight with Army senior forward from the hockey team, John Bob. John, thanks for joining us here on the Cadet Spotlight, and it's been quite a season for you and this Army hockey team. You have to be really happy how this year's gone so far. Uh, yes, it has. I think we're all uh, excited here, and uh, for me personally, being my, my last year here, I think, you know, it's, it's something special, and, uh, you know, I think everyone here is just real excited to see where we end up and how we, how we do. Reading your bio on the website at GoArmySports.com, you mentioned most important thing to you is family. Take me back to the decision to attend West Point, play hockey, and I guess needless to say, family played a big role in a lot of different ways. Absolutely, Rich. And uh, I'd be lying if I said that it was an easy decision to come here. It, uh, it took a lot of you know, discussion and a uh, lot, of, lot of family time back at home in Arizona. But coming here, seeing the coaching staff, talking with them, and being around the players, you know, I, I knew that this this place would truly be an extension of my family, and it, it certainly has been. You mentioned Arizona, and we're used to seeing bios of hockey players from the, the Midwest, the, the great north. Talk to me about hockey growing up in the southwest, west coast, and the growth of that, how you first were exposed to the game, and how maybe in an area where it doesn't get really cold during the year, you grew a love for hockey. Right, yeah, I'm uh, kind of a bit of an anomaly anomaly around here. There's guys from Minnesota and you know Michigan all over the place, but a guy from Arizona, um, you know, it was, it was a little different path for me. I, I grew up playing roller hockey. That's initially where I got my start. And then slowly but surely, I kind of transitioned to ice hockey. And you know, I, I always tell people it's 120 degrees in the summer in uh, Arizona, so smartest place to be is an, an ice rink. So it, uh, it was fun. It was, it was a little different route for me and kind of from other kids, but I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I think, you know, what I, kind of what I bring to the table is a, a little different and a cool story. And, John, how about your experience as a cadet here at West Point, uh, what you're studying, your major? How has that gone? And tell me about the future when you're going to be a commissioned officer in just a few months. Yes, sir. So uh, my major here is uh, economics in, uh, in the Department of Social Sciences, and I, I can't speak highly enough of that department and the faculty in it. Uh, that's probably been probably my be best decision I've made since I've been here was to go that route. And I, I go to class each day, and it's, it's a challenge every single day. But I have embraced it, and I, I've definitely learned to love it. So and then uh, upon graduation, I'll be a, a finance officer kind of extending my education and what I'll do in, uh, in serving the Army in that way. Well, John, we appreciate a couple of minutes here on the Cadet Spotlight. Best of luck the remainder of this season, and of course, wrapping up your career as both a hockey player and a cadet here at West Point, and of course, as a commissioned officer. Thank you very much. That's Army senior forward John Bob from the Black Knights hockey team here on the Cadet Spotlight. I'm Rich DeMarco. More Black Knights Weekly with Heath Trebu coming up. Hi, I'm Jean Parker. And I'm Bridget Okren. And we're on the, the Army, Army Women's Basketball, Basketball team. team. Just want to let you know that we open Patriot League play this weekend. Saturday at 1 p.m. at Crystal Arena. Hope you can make it. Go Army. Beat Bucknell. <laughs> and if you can't make it to Crystal Arena, a live webcast of that event will be available on GoArmySports.com. Again, a 1 p.m. start time, Army Women's Basketball against Bucknell. Up next, let's learn how to do a backflip. Here's night school. Hi, I'm Scott Warner. I'm a sophomore on the West Point Gymnastics team, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a backflip. So there, there's five primary steps to a backflip. The first one is going to be your starting position, where you're standing up tall with your arms over your head. The second step is going to be to bring your arms back and squat down, getting ready to jump. The third step is going to be jumping up and your chest open. The fourth step is with your chest open when you're in the air, pulling your knees up to your chest so that you can start flipping. It's important to not bring your chest down, you want your knees coming up. And then lastly, you just have to hold that until your feet come all the way around and hit the ground again. Anyway. 
So if you follow the steps, you should be able to do a backflip. Just don't try it at home without a trained supervisor. Don't forget, the West Point Open is this February 1st and 2nd at Crystal Arena. I hope you can come out and support us. Thanks for watching. And that's all we have for you on this edition of Black Knights Weekly. Remember, you can watch the weekend preview. That's tomorrow on GoArmySports.com. Again, thanks for watching Black Knights Weekly. Until next time, Go Army, Beat Navy.